Ah. Ah. Excuse me, I just need to get up and dance. Like, I can't sit down. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this video. My name's Dan, aka Lucent. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer person. And today I'm going to be reacting to That Feels Good by Jesse Ware. Let go. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I put out like a catching up on new music video, which I just kind of catch up on all the kind of latest hits. And one of the songs I did was actually Begin Again, Begin Again by Jesse Ware, because that's kind of been popping off. And then when I put that video out, like so many of you in the comments were asking for me to do the full album. And so, yeah, I've done that. But I haven't yet. <laughs> that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be reacting to her full album. Begin Again is the only song I've heard. My history with Jesse Ware, like I kind of, when she first came onto the scene back in like 2013, was it? I listened to a bunch of her stuff. Say You Love Me was a like, I loved that. I remember being at uni and just adoring that song and playing it all the time. And I've listened to her podcast, the one where she's like cooking with her mum and has, gets people around for dinner, which I really enjoy. Um, and I know that this kind of new era for her is like a disco revival kind of thing. So I'm interested to get into the full album. Oh, there was, uh, there was a song at the beginning of this video. Did you enjoy it? That's cool because... <laughs> Because that song is actually called Criminal and it is my song, yay! Or you can watch the lyric video which I'll link for you. So I've actually decided to split off my music channel as separate from my reactions channel. So if you want to follow my music from now on, make sure to go over to my music channel and subscribe there for all of my music updates. I've got new music coming out in the summer. Make sure to go over to that channel and subscribe there, it's called Lucent Music. If you're new to this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to support me even further, then you can do over on Patreon, where you can actually watch this video with absolutely no cuts in any of the songs or anything. Right, let's go on to the video. Song number one, this is That Feels Good. Mm, that feels good. Nice. Feels Ooh. Good. Feels good. Oh my God, I love it. It's giving me Kate Bush. That is such a cool intro. Do it again. Mm. So we're feeling sexy. Do it again. <laughs> mm. Shaker. Bit classic disco vibes. Simple, isn't it? You know? Right to the point. I love her kind of like super laid back vocal over like this kind of frantic. Well, not frantic, but like energized tension building backing, you know? Nice! Oh my god! I did not know Jesse Ware could do the fast stuff. I also love the, love the kind of like slightly alternative progression in terms of the song structure. The hook is great. It's about focusing in on pure pleasure, isn't it, you know? Mm, just introducing new ideas every minute, it's really exciting. Wow. I'm really, really interested in this. I just love how every section is different, but this hook is so strong that it pulls it all together. Yeah. Pleasure is a right. Pleasure is a right. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Oh my god. Oh, this is fab. See, it like has a 70s energy to it, but at no point does it actually feel pastiche, you know? It feels like fresh and retro at the same time. <laughs> this is fierce. This is so good. Feels good. Do it again. Amazing. That's actually so good. Like, <laughs> I was not ready for that to really just go off. I think the thing that excited me the most about it was that, like, there was no traditional structure. Like, the beginning was such, it was like perfect intro and out to an album, you know, like something like a concept, something really interesting, something to really capture attention. You know, the whispering in the ear, it feels like you're right there with her. It feels like it's like this kind of a whole bunch of different people who are all simultaneously having sex at different times and like just focusing in on the pleasure and 
everything else goes away. And then it just kind of builds into, into like a really, really, really strong hook. Like that feels good, do it again. Like that is just like, it's just simple, but works so well. And I think that's what ties it all together. Because for me, like when it comes to songwriting and song structure, I think you've got to balance the experimentation and the craziness with the simple. And I think for a song that has like so many different sections that are all very different rhythmically and melodically and, you know, to take the arrangement away and to bring it back and all those kinds of things, that only works because the hook is really simple, but it works so well because of that. It makes you really want to dance. And it has that kind of feeling of disco without feeling like an imitation or pastiche, which kind of means to be like an imitation of an imitation, like the idea of disco without any, any kind of like depth or grit. But that song definitely has that. It has that kind of like that edge to it, that kind of real recording quality thing to it as well. Like, that feels good. Every time I get a little bit of inc an inclination, you can throw me to the shock of a new sensation. Shock me again and again and again and again. It's like sex is the endless pleasure you know <laughs> and I think it's a celebration of that you know like every single time you get into that mood and you can have sex you can just create pleasure and you can create something that just feels good and feels exciting with just the touch of somebody else's hand and it kind of doesn't matter how much you do it <laughs> as long as you're kind of experimenting and having fun with it you can create pleasure out of nothing. And that's what the song feels. It's like, I'm creating something out of nothing. And it's like the magic of that, you know? For treasure to be found, medicine of life, freedom is a sound and pleasure is a right. So it's like, everybody deserves to have this level of pleasure. And it really is a celebration of that. Love it. Okay, next song, this is Free Yourself. Okay, love the piano already. This is, I, yeah, I'm obsessed. This is great. <laughs> Okay. Let's give me shades of free your mind. Ugh. 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 This is just great, huh? <laughs> I love disco. <laughs> I think that like a lot of modern disco stuff tends to kind of focus on the glitz and the glamour of it and less about the like kind of grit. There's just a real human quality to this, you know? It's really, like, feels down to earth, you know? I mean, it's got the disco strings, isn't it, you know? I that snare is really sending me. The snare's kind of the modern element of it, you know? Nice. I also love this message of like freedom, ultimately freeing yourself of the shackles of the everyday, you know. It almost seems to be that she's like, what is, does disco mean to me? It's pleasure and it's, wow, and it's uh, freedom. Sorry, I'm just totally distracted by this new section. Sounds like it's in a different key. So this kind of feels samply, which is quite fun. Brings it to the modern day. This. Amazing, so fierce. I was just like picturing her mum from the podcast, like listening to these songs and just being like, Jesse, this is so good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why. <laughs> so good. I just love that feeling of freedom. Like that song really just like epitomizes that freedom on the dance floor kind of feeling, you know? And that is like a real sense of what disco is about for so many people and what like house is about for so many people. And like, I feel like the kind of, the music of the club has kind of moved away from that kind of freedom, which I miss when I go out now. I usually go to the retro nights because I want disco and I want like cheesy stuff. That sense of freedom. Whereas like a lot of like clubs nowadays, it's just all about like, being in the zone. I don't know. I guess there is a freedom in that for some people, but I just don't really get it with techno. You know, I just don't really get techno in general. So this song really seems to be going back to that feeling of freedom that, da that the dance floor kind of gives you. And that is something so empowering. And like, I love that the song reflects that empowerment. You know, it doesn't feel like it's, you know, just surface level glitz and glamour, which so many people think disco is. It's more than that. It is a true sense of freedom from a place of being grounded you know I think the artist needs to have a level of grounding so that when you're dancing 
with their voice in your ears, you feel like they're with you, you know? And so much modern disco, Dua Lipa, actually, for me, it doesn't feel like they're with you. It feels like they're above you, you know? Whereas with this, I feel like Jessie would be there, like, dancing in on the dance floor with us. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think so much of that is in the recording techniques used to really give it kind of real, like, almost like tape recorded. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these instruments were recorded on tape because it gives it that kind of warm, real for lack of a better term, feeling that brings the artist to you, you know? And I guess this idea of like freeing yourself, it's empowering because she's saying it's within your hands. Take life by the balls and do, <laughs> and like, you know, make the most of it. Clock is ticking, baby. Now is the time for someone to come and hold you. Breaking yourself out of loneliness. No complications, distractions, reactions, no retractions. Um, only obsessions, motivations, investigations, there's new information. You're a name, not a number, extraordinary colours, don't hide yourself under covers. So it seems as if she's fighting back against the kind of oppression of 9 to 5 life. She's saying that there's freedom all around you and maybe certain things that we need to do, but if you can free yourself within moments and free yourself from loneliness and connect with other people, then you can make your life so much better. Let's go on to the next one, this is Pearls. Ooh, nice side chain stuff. Of course, her voice is beautiful. Whoa, we're getting psychedelic. Ah, <laughs> oh. it's time to shake it till the pearls fall. Oh my god, I love all the spoken word stuff as well. Like those spoken moments really give it like a sense of sass and sex. Ugh. I love that. It's like the pearls kind of represent like a kind of pinned up glamour. And she's like, let it go. Just let them fall, you know? Ugh, this is fierce. I love it. This is like really good party music, huh? Have I got any parties to make playlists for at the moment? <laughs> I'll be putting this whole album on there. <laughs> Shake it till the pearls fall off. That is so good. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that such a good visual as well? I love all the chromatic moments too. Ah. Chromatic moments make it feel grittier, you know? It's like bringing in darkness into the glitz, which is key for me with disco. Like. I like the image of the moon is almost like a big pearl, isn't it? I love the freedom in her vocals as well. Like, I mean, she's got a beautiful voice. But she's like right up in a register where it's like, almost like it's edgy. Shake it till the pearls fall off. This, so good. Love it. <laughs> That is such a good hook, isn't it? Like, shake it till the pearls fall off. Like, it's like musically, it's a great hook. There's such a visual to it. It really speaks to like dancing, but I love how it's almost like, like fighting back against kind of luxury, you know? It's so cool because like, so many people think that like disco is about wearing pearls or like, you know, wearing sequins and being glitzy and glam. But, and it is partly that, but like, it's about, wearing that and then shaking it and dancing your ass off until the pearls fall from your neck because you're just having the best time and you don't care about that anymore. It's about not caring what people think you look like. And I think so many people think disco is about what you look like, but it's not. It's about not giving a shit because you're so lost in the music. Yeah, and that's what that song gives me. She doesn't give a shit what she looks like because she's just dancing. Fuck it, she's living in the moment and she's having the best time of her life on the dance floor. It's so empowering, like, it's so good. I, it's, yeah, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Thank you so much for making me react to this. <laughs> I'm so nine to five, I'm a lady, I'm a lover, I'm a freak and a mother. So it's similar themes. I feel like this album has really got similar themes running through it. So far it doesn't feel like huge in terms of scope. That's the only thing. But you know, actually not every album has to 
be like ex- existential and asking bigger questions and stuff like this one is really actually trying to fight against that and actually saying actually maybe we don't always need to be in that place maybe we just need to focus on what brings us pleasure and here it's like getting out of the nine to five and just letting loose shake it till the pearls fall out okay cool let's go to song number four this is hello love oh a slightly slower jam Ooh. very luxe feeling to this i can just imagine her on a chaise lounge with the ostrich feathers <laughs> so there is a sense of glam to it you know I don't know where you were and i don't know what went wrong it's not that i gave up i just stopped trying nice one that's decided nice hello love it's like relinquishing control i think Loving all the beautiful imagery, and it's all very freeing imagery, isn't it? Like butterflies and letting go. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Just I love these little moments. Maybe meeting up with an old friend that you weren't expecting to see. That's nice, huh? I love the kind of really lush, rich instrumentation in this one. Ooh, nice. Mm. Oh god, those horns. It sounds like a high-pitched saxophone. Oh. Gorgeous. Nice. It's such a smooth song. It's really like taking that kind of Lionel Richie side of that genre, you know. Oh my god, I love the horns on that. Gorgeous. Saxophone, like, just really like, the way they've recorded those instruments has such a kind of like rawness to it that is just so, so beautiful. I feel like so many modern pop songs, like the brass and the woodwinds and stuff are almost like too shiny, but this one like has that kind of rasp to it. It's just so nice. I wasn't as obsessed with that one. I feel like kind of lyrically it wasn't really sending me off. That one did feel a little bit towards like the kind of pastiche cheese kind of side of things like cheese is way too far actually it's not that far but like the other ones felt like they were innovative still whereas this one does feel a bit more like a uh, yeah pastiche I guess is the word but still enjoyable and still very very like high quality I'm guessing it's about like bumping into an old friend and like just like a moment you know I feel like maybe every song is just like living in the moment that feels like it you know even that it's like you bump into somebody and you make the most of that moment it's just happened and so you just make the most of it it's like a sense of living in the moment that she's really in every single song it kind of like trickles through okay let's go on to the next one this is begin again which i have reacted to already so if you did want to check out my initial reaction then you can click on the link i'll also link it at the end of the video cool let's do it That's really giving me like Godspell energy. Hair. Like that era of like 70s musical. I love how she uses her falsetto. Like there. It just like. It's just so effortless. Why does all the purest love get built up through machines? This one kind of brings it into context in terms of uh, being like a post pandemic album. Almost like the last few years have fucked us up, and now she's asking, can we begin again, you know? See, the way these piano and, and the horns there and stuff are recorded, it's not glitzy. They're dirty and real, you know? Also, there feels to be little production on her voice. I mean, there's obviously lots of reverbs and stuff, but like in terms of like tuning and in terms of like compression and stuff, it feels quite raw to me. Which I think is an important part, actually. So I think if her vocals were overly compressed and overly tuned, it would take it away from the grounding, you know, which I think is so important. Ugh. 
So I'm totally lost in the groove of this one. <laughs> I haven't even spoken for ages. I'm like, just loving it. Ugh. I love the chromatic element here that really does take it to that era for me in a meaningful way. Again, complexity pulled down by a really simple hook. Perfection, love it. Really good, such a vibe. I can imagine just playing this album from start to finish, you know, and just being ready to go out, you know? Like, it's just like, the whole thing just seems to be like, just letting go and being free in the moment and dancing and just but that one yeah that one does bring in more context for me in terms of like can we go back to where we were before which i think is quite a key feeling and maybe does reveal like maybe what her intention was with this album which i think was almost like to free everybody of the kind of shackles of the last few years like shake off all the cobwebs um stop thinking too much and actually just focus on what feels good and getting back to like the simple pleasure that is just focusing on what feels good, you know, dancing and living in the moment. That one seems to seems to suggest that we've strayed away from that. And she's kind of saying, like, shed that all off. We need to forget about all that stuff if we're going to move on. OK, next song. This is Beautiful People. Ooh, tempo. Ooh, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the bass and drums together. <laughs> oh yeah. Excuse me, I just need to get up and dance. <laughs> like, I can't sit down. <laughs> Sorry, I need to sit down. <laughs> oh, my hair is like everywhere now. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I'm obsessed. This is just sending me. I love dancing. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like celebrating your friends and the relationship you have with your friends. It's like even if you're being heartbroken, there are people, there are beautiful people around who are going to pick you up and you're all going to dance together. It's like, I love it, I'm obsessed. Imagine this. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I'm obsessed. That's my time. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> this is my favorite one, I think. <laughs> I just love how this, it just is taking me to my favorite nights out that I've ever had. It's making me want to go out again. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Oh, can I have sex? I loved that. It just really like reminded me of like the freedom that the dance floor can give you. Like, like in recent years, like especially with the pandemic and like personally like getting older and, and also things getting more expensive to go out, you know, I just don't really go out anymore. Part of me was like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. But like I'm listening to this and it's just reminding me of like how much joy I found on that dance floor, you know, when I was going out a lot. And like the best nights were always like for me that had all the retro music, it was always the disco night there was this place in cardiff called clubby for bach which we called that's probably a terrible pronunciation we called welsh club because we're terrible english people um and uh, their second floor they used to play soul disco and funk music until like two in the morning and then you go downstairs and get your like your katie perry's and your lady gaga for the rest of the evening which was the perfect combo i just remember just absolutely cutting a rug like just on this like retro disco music and like you know earth wind and fire you know donna summer gloria gaynor oh just like so many disco legends that like i don't know there's just so much freedom in it and like those moments were just so, so exhilarating just to be on the floor with my mates, just dancing with all these beautiful people around me. You know, everyone's just, it's beautiful because everybody's having a great time. No, there's no pretense. No one cares. Everybody's sweating. Everybody's like just cutting a rug and like, it's just the best. Oh my God, I need to go out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I love that one. That one just really, really, really took me to that place, you know? I just love the idea that everybody's beautiful because they're all just feeling it. Mm, love it. Okay, let's go on to the next song. This is Freak Me Now, which is... <laughs> let's, we all know what this is about. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so good. Disco sense going on. Mmm. Wow. This is like bass heavy, huh? Oh. I love all the kind of like rap, like spoken moments, like throughout this album. It really does take it to a different place for her. It must be very tempting for her with this beautiful voice to sing everything, but to like go out of it and like experiment with her voice in different ways, like it's great. Yeah, it's really great. She's found something great. Mm. It's so good. It's such a good hook. It's again, it's another surrender, isn't it? I like that sample. Ooh. Key change. Nice. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a mode mixture. Sounds like a different song. I love that. The lightness there. Ugh. Amazing. Love it. <laughs> I remember at the beginning of the album, I was like, you know, there's like, that feels good felt like maybe it's a more generalized thing. But to me, like I really took in like the sex side of it. And this one seems to be very specifically about the sex side of it. Surrendering yourself to pleasure and surrendering yourself to these kind of human instincts and just enjoying it. And I love that sample at the beginning. So good. We just know exactly what she's chatting about. <laughs> what makes you want to fly must be something about tonight that's sparkling my eye. You are a jewel, baby. Oh, baby, do what you do, baby. Come make a move, baby. I know I want you. All, like, mm, mm, sumptuous beauty, like, hot on fire. We're on fire. You're setting me alight. Like, it's just such a celebration of feeling. And it feels very sensual and very hot and very sticky and very, like, she's not like, I don't want to be clean. I don't want to be sanitized. I want to be sticky and disgusting and, like, sweaty and, like, a mess, like, having, like, the best sex of my life. I just, oh, again, like I was saying, like, so much of, like, the disco revival at the moment with, like, you know, with Julie, but particularly feels very sanitized and this does not at all and for me that's what disco is you know really let's go on to the next one this is shake the bottle fun <laughs> i love that jimmy lies jimmy cries jimmy's just like other guy wants what benny gets broken hearts and cigarettes <laughs> I love the sax in this one. He was romantic, but he never ever paid. <laughs> he still lived with his mother, but he sure could. <laughs> I, that's amazing. I'm guessing these are all her exes. Each one of these is a banger. Do you know what I mean? Just like really like well put together, well written pop songs with a disco sensibility. I guess it's like embracing like a sense of like empowering like your one night stands in the past I guess like she's like maybe admitting that like there were a lot of different points in her life where she had some great sex with people and she was like happy to kind of experiment you know love it I mean, it's obviously about sex. <laughs> I love this sense of like freedom she's finding within her sexuality. <laughs> Amazing. Make my bottle. Throughout the album, she's got like references to like this kind of extravagance, opulence, you know, like the pearls and the champagne and things like that. And yet, those things never feel like they own the album. They're just like almost like a kind of veneer for it to all be kind of pulled apart actually by the true lyrics of the song, you know? Yeah, I really love the sense of sexual liberation within that. Like, I feel like there's so much shame surrounded with sex, people talking about sex and the things that bring you pleasure in sex. Um, and sometimes they are alternative. Having sex with lots of different people is like a part of life for many people. 
difficult and like some people might not feel the need to do that but like there should be no shame in being able to do that just experiment and have fun you know not take it so seriously and I think that's really like what she's saying especially with the way it's all about making my bottle pop it's all like it's, it's humorous you know she's not taking herself too seriously and I think that really does go to make the album feel very grounded making the most of the moment feeling pleasure having fun Jimmy lies Jimmy cries Jimmy's just like other guys Matthew was a classic just like his pickup truck he's still with his he's still with his mother but sure but he sure could woof <laughs> those seem to be the different exes in her relationship with those exes I don't need a rock on my finger or a locket and a picture or a bottle of nice champagne just promise not to start it and stop it once you've fired up like the rocket so it's all about yeah getting back to the simplicity of sex like she doesn't need to be married she doesn't need to be devoted to one person for the rest of her life like I love how she's really focusing on like you know she's happy to kind of live a life of like polyamory in a way I'm not sure whether this is like who she is going forward with her life or, or whether this is like looking back at who she was and embracing that part of her Mickey has a wife and kids he always goes on business trips he came home with his fly pulled and he still had Reggie on his lips so that's like Mickey who's obviously cheating on his wife with with Reggie she's now exp expressing guys who are on the toxic side of this you know it's almost like a cautionary tale in a sense because it's like this is who you become if you don't allow yourself to not feel shame within the bedroom and express yourself sexually this guy mickey who's cheating on his wife it's like you've done something and you've broken a promise and you've done something awful it's caused you to do something toxic because you haven't expressed these feelings you haven't like explored yourself fully and maybe you can't communicate what you need with your wife in terms of sex and so here you are cheating it's all bottled up you know Ooh. Huh. yeah and i think that's how she's kind of saying you know how about we actually just admit what we need and not lie to each other, <laughs> you know? She's trying to get back to that honesty and the truth of it, you know? Cool, I love it. Um, let's go to the next one, this is Lightning. Ooh, Ooh love that synth. I like the kind of drum machine-esque feel. Turn a nightmare into a dream Your lips when I feel insane This one seems a little bit less like going out and more staying in, doesn't it? Like the feel of the song kind of almost gives that kind of heaviness of a thunderstorm, you know? The humidity and like hiding from it and in, in out of the rain, you know? a slightly smoother jam this one i really like the kind of the heavy feeling of it with those vocals that break out it's nice oh fade out you are the lightning in my life Interesting. That fade. I haven't had a fade out in a song for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, really. Like I enjoyed like a slightly different vibe for that, and it kind of for me it kind of gave like a staying in kind of feel. Maybe now that she's been able to kind of go, oh, let's go out and have fun and be on the dance floor. She's actually saying, okay, I can still find pleasure within my own home. You know, it doesn't have to all be out and whatever. Um, and that's feeling that one's giving me. Yeah, I like that. It's slightly chill, but I do enjoy it. Can you give it all? A look when I don't feel seen, turn the nightmare into a dream. Can you give it all? Lots of questions. Ellipse when I feel insane, make me float like balloons in the rain. <laughs> Show me love's not just a wicked game to me. I can give you all of me every night. So now she seems to be talking about more like an emotional depth of connection within sex. Less fun and more like depth. It's emotional to love the star. You are, you are the lightning in my life. Maybe she had all this fun time and she explored herself and she feels fulfilled. And now she's like... I'm ready to focus on one person. This person's come in and it's like the lightning that they've lit up my life. The light bulb's gone off, you know? Yeah, nice. Before we go into the final song, a quick shout out to my patrons. So these guys support me over on Patreon. They get a number of different uh, benefits, including getting the name in the video, getting access to the exclusive Discord server. They can get their videos early and unedited so you get no cuts in any of the songs. And also you can actually request reactions from me and the upper tiers as well so if you want to join in and be part of the discord community and you want to support me further then you can do so over on patreon the link is in the description in the top comment and everything make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying it let's go on to the final song this is 
these lips. It's gonna take two, mm. two more. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Ring alarms because we're heating up this room. Oh, yeah. So many good ideas in this album, like little moments that are just so magical. Like, she just litters them throughout the thing without kind of worrying too much about the structure, you know? obsessed with that. Nice. Could do so much more. Potential, yeah. She's really like keying in on like potential that's not being used, you know. These lips could turn milk to gold. These lips, body and soul. Wow. <laughs> I love the kind of empowering nature that she's finding in this one part of her body. It's like saying, you know, these lips can kiss you, they can pleasure you, they can do all, they can speak, you know, my mind, they can say sorry, you know, it's like the power within just her lips. It's so empowering, isn't it, to like think of something so small that can really, has so much potential. It's almost like explaining to somebody, you know, there's more to me than meets the eye. Nice. Strings. Beautiful. This. Beautiful. I really love that. Very sultry song. Very suggestive in the way that it's like, these lips can do whatever you want them to, you know. I really enjoy that. And it does feel like she's so liberated throughout this whole album. Like, there's just... Like, that seems to be the key takeaway for me from this whole album is just that feeling of liberation. She wants her listeners to feel completely liberated on the dance floor, at home, in the bedroom, in their work, like liberated from their work, you know. She wants everybody to feel that and she wants to bring everybody along. And I think that like what makes it work so well is that she doesn't focus on the veneer of disco and the glamour of disco. That Those elements are there, but the truth of the album is in this like grounded and very very human feeling of the need for freedom it's really really great and like freedom doesn't come in like being all buttoned up and looking perfect it comes in letting letting the pearls fall to the ground shaking your hips like getting all sweaty and lost in it whether that's dancing or whether it's sex like there's so much freedom in just letting go and that is the grit and that is the kind of heart of how it works so well as as like a disco revival album really 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 good yeah <laughs> just really made me want to dance and really re and took me to that place i think like that was the thing is that in the middle of that album i just really remembered how much joy like disco really brings me when when i'm out and really enjoying myself you know if you want to check out my initial reaction to begin again then click here if you want to check out my music then click here